uh, an independent lawmaker resigned as a minister today. He has withdrawn support. He has come out in support. He has come out in support of the BJP. Can we get the picture of uh, that uh, MLA, who is the independent MLA, being uh, taken to the airport just to climb on board that plane to be taken to Mumbai? All right, he has come out in support of the BJP, giving it a narrow edge in the assembly. In an attempt at survival, after 13 resignations last week, the Congress and the JDS have now asked their ministers to quit and make room for rebels who might be persuaded to return. But will that work? It doesn't seem so because this is the news coming in. Despite all of that, despite all of the firefighting, it seems that another independent MLA has quit. This is our Shankar who has now quit uh, also as minister. That is his resignation letter that we are playing out uh, on your screens right now. So the momentum just building all day. We heard the Congress and JDS leaders saying that they have the situation under control. We even heard uh, some Congress JDS leaders claiming that that uh, earlier minister who quit H. Nagesh had been kidnapped by the BJP. But it seems like the situation is spiraling out of control because now one more independent MLA has quit. So Monday bringing yet another blow, two blows now. First independent MLA, H. Nagesh, made a minister just last month, quit as minister today. He is now saying he is backing the BJP. Now the BJP insisting they have nothing to do with this, but... A close aide of the BJP's BS Yadurapa was seen with Mr. Nagesh. Can we get that picture of Mr. Nagesh en route to uh, the flight about to board that plane being taken to Mumbai to join the rest of the merry flock at the Sofitel Hotel? If we can uh, play that uh, picture out, that is the image of the day. Now in the second blow on this manic Monday in Karnataka, yet another independent MLA has now quit his resignation letter uh, on the screens before you. So the big question, of course, is, is the uh, uh, Kumar Swami government in a minority? Let's go across uh, to Maya Sharma for this. Maya, you've been speaking with Congress JDS leaders all day. They've been putting on a brave face. They've been claiming that uh, they have things under control. It doesn't seem like it because now one more independent MLA has quit. Our Shankar's resignation letter there resigning from the Council of Ministers. Now, Shankar and Nagesh were two independents who were made ministers just in June, just last month, less than a month ago, in fact, on June 14th. They were taken into the cabinet. The planning then of the coalition government was certainly to make sure that with the addition of these two independents, the coalition numbers would be greater, the coalition government would be more secure. That clearly did not work. Both of those independents, Shankar and, of course, Nagesh earlier today, quitting the ministry. Nagesh openly declaring his support for the BJP. We have to see what happens with Shankar, whether he's also going to declare his support for the BJP or not. But terrible news, really, for the coalition government in Karnataka with the fact that these two independents brought in specially into the state cabinet have now quit the ministry and are heading in the other direction. Nagesh alone had made the difference in terms of number by taking away his support and adding his support to the BJP. It meant that the BJP were 105 plus one, that is 106, compared to the coalition's 104. This would be, of course, if those 13 resignations from JDS and Congress MLAs are accepted by Ramesh Kumar, the speaker tomorrow, and also the loss of Nagesh. So 106 to 104. And with the resignation of MLAs, it does look as if the BJP has the new majority mark in the assembly, not the coalition. We are in fact at the BJP office where a meeting is being held by BJP MLAs. They've been watching what's going on. They're certainly hoping that they have done what is needed to actually make themselves comfortable with the government, with the coalition government in the state. They certainly hope that they have managed to get the numbers and that they can form the government. They've said they're very clear that they're very interested in doing so. They've said they're not sannyasis. We asked BSA Europe here also what the plan was. He said, let's wait till tomorrow. But 
They say that they are 100% certain of forming the government and will in fact have protests from tomorrow onwards saying that the coalition government is now a minority and that the BJP should be asked to form the government. It's all happening here. Nagesh's resignation from the post of ministry and his support of the BJP was a blow in the morning. And now with the loss of R. Shankar, it does look to be endgame. We are hearing that the coalition government is trying to find out any constitutional methods to see whether what goes on with those resignations. Speaker Ramesh Kumar is back in Bengaluru tomorrow, at his office tomorrow, and he will look at those resignations. But it's really, really very difficult times for the coalition, although the coalition leaders themselves still sound supremely confident. They still talk about winning back those MLAs. And all the ministers, all JDS and Congress ministers, have actually handed over their resignation letters to their respective party chiefs at the state level to be used as bargaining chips for the MLAs who have left, saying, if you want cabinet berths, if that's your price for coming back, then take our cabinet berths. We're ready to sacrifice our cabinet berths so that you can come back and save the coalition government. So the coalition government still not having given up hope, but this blow of the Ashankar's loss is something which is really difficult to be overcome in addition to Nagesh earlier today.